So this Q&A session is going live into our photo biomodulation page so people can watch that replay as well too. And so if you do have questions that you're in, you're in the page and you're not on this Zoom right now, just put them in the comment section and we'll be monitoring that as well too to make sure. And then for those of you that are live here on the Zoom right now, you can type in the chat if you have questions or if you want to you know, raise your hand, do the little hand raise um, or ask your question out loud verbally, you're more than welcome to do that too. This is your time, your platform to get your questions answered. So Dr. Vienna, welcome. Thank you, it's nice to be here. We are what a wonderful group this is. I know, we are so excited. So Dr. Vienna, I would like for you just very quickly to share with them um, how long you've been using the LifeWay stem cell activation patches? And then also, what were your results? Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, I signed up on May 20th. I think I received my package by May 25th. And uh, I think that was a Friday. Saturday, I put them on for the first time. And I started with the X39 and the Eon. And I thought, I'm just going to try these two first and just see how they work. And so I put the X39 on the back and then the uh, Aeon on the, on the front underneath the belly button. And um, <laughs> an hour after I put it on, it was like, holy moly, what just happened? Because I had so much energy that it was just not the, I mean, it was like I drank 30 cups of coffee, but without the jitters, right? And so... That day, uh, my husband and I, uh, so we live in Eastern Washington and, um, you know, we have to take advantage, we, we live uh, 4,500 feet up in the, in the mountains. And so we have to take advantage of really good weather. And so on this particular day, we had some sunshine. So we decided to, uh, I decided to weed whack the yard because our lawnmower is broken. So we just have a weed whacker. So I weed whacked the whole yard, which is about a half an acre. And then um, we put our greenhouse together and then I took all of our big, you know, uh, buckets of, of dirt, like 25 of them full of dirt and brought them into the greenhouse and also cleaned house, did dishes, took a shower and afterward and, and fixed dinner. And afterwards, I'm like, I still have reserves left. What am I going to do? <laughs> you know, so I had all this energy, right? But the biggest thing that I started to notice within three days, literally three days, was I have been dealing with an autoimmune issue that I wasn't aware of. I mean, I was aware of it, but it was more related to uh, an allergy reaction, which was, uh, I believe, wheat as well as the glyphosate. And I had been trying everything that I've been using with my clients that have worked and it wasn't working. And I'm feeling like such a failure. And after using these patches within three days, I was actually, uh, my hands are healing. See, look, my hands are healing and they're actually healed. I mean, the rest, this is all good skin. And, um, so I started to feel like finally something is working and uh, literally I, I've been having them heal constantly. And I noticed when I don't wear my patches that sometimes I'll uh, get a little irritation or something, but I put my patches back on and it's fine. So I am in love with it. But not only that, it's also just the mental clarity. I also used it for my eyes one night and decided, you know, I've been on my computer all day and I was getting that uh, blurry vision. And so I wore the, um, e the glu glutathione here, the Eon and the um, car uh, Carnosine and woke up the next morning, perfect vision. So I was like, all right, I'm hooked. <laughs> so what's been uh, really, really fun is that um, it's this wonderful blend of Eastern medicine, which is the acupressure points and the meridians and the Western medicine, which is the stem cells and the photobiomodulation, uh, photo, photo bi all of those things. And it's such a great marriage of the two disciplines together that it's such an easy thing to get people to buy into as far as their health benefits, what they're hoping to gain, getting control over their health, uh, having some recovery. I mean, just so many tools in the toolbox that people can use that it's just exciting to talk about. And when you hear about everybody else's responses and, and, and testimonies and outcomes, it's just amazing. And then of course I introduce it to my clients and some of my clients who, um, you know, have really bad chronic pain issues throughout their whole body. And they're actually finding, finally getting some results. is just, uh, it's a miracle. I'm just going to say it's a miracle. So I love it. <laughs> I, yeah, I could go on forever. No, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your personal mm -hmm. experience. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. 
Yeah, that's what it's about, yeah. right? We have something that, that happens to us and, and we want to share that with others. So right now, Dr. Mel, she's joined us. And obviously you can see we have quite a few people on here. Mel, if you could monitor the Facebook photobiomodulation page to see if there are any comments underneath. People are going to be it. comments <laughs> in the chat. So Dr. Vienna is going to be answering questions. Of course, Dr. Mel and I can as well, but you guys have heard from us. So if you have a question, please feel free to raise your hand, unmute yourself or type it in the chat. We would love to hear your questions. Now, while we're waiting for questions to come in, I wanna share something that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. And um, what I find from most of my clients who are, who are using the LifeWave or are interested in using it is the uh, acupuncture points and which ones are important for what reason. And so I am putting together a wonderful little toolbox that all of us can use. I'm gonna share it with everybody that helps to identify, first of all, how to find the points, what's the measuring stick that we're using, as well as what these points are good for. So that if you ever get anybody who's stuck, who's like not making progress or who uh, is maybe wanting to do something outside some of our normal protocols, this will be a really good guide to help with that. Um, and it's, it's also um, a passion of mine anyways. I've been doing uh, acupressure for over 20 years. And so um, I just love it. And I, I just feel like it's such a wonderful way in which to love to deliver this wonderful modality that <laughs> we have at our fingertips, literally. So when I'm done with that, I'll, I'll be uh, sharing that with everybody. And then we can also do some training calls on it as well. So we have those resources. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. That. So, um, Dr. Vienna, someone is asking, which type of doctor are you? So I have my PhD in integrative medicine. Um, prior to that, I was an occupational therapist and I had been a therapist for over aging myself, 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I worked in uh, the medical field for a very, very long time and always delved into the Eastern side of medicine. So when I had an opportunity to go to go back to school and get my PhD, that's what I did. And I graduated in 2016 and have a very, very, very active practice in Washington State. And I absolutely love it. I do both virtual work and also in-person work. Perfect. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. You guys, any questions, type them in the chat box or unmute yourself. Yeah. Bring them on. <laughs> And in the oh, meantime, I want to say that Dr. Mel yeah. and Stacy are extremely um, supportive of everybody. So this has been a wonderful group to work with. So um, use these resources because they will help you be successful. And I'm extremely grateful to be partnering with you guys. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. We're so grateful for you. Um, I don't know if people know, but I admire Dr. Bia. I still do. Um, in Quantum University, she was like one of my favorite instructors because of how playful she was and how it, she explained everything so playfully and beautifully. Um, she demonstrated like how thoughts affect movement and it was beautiful. So um, it's really so precious to have you with us to sharing your knowledge and wisdom with all of us here. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. So Chad has a question. He had raised his hand and now Joanne has one as well too. And then we'll get to Terry and Dr. Alex and Lisa. So Chad, go for it. Thank you so much. And I am admittedly still new to this information since we just spoke last yes. week. So I apologize if this is a little basic of a question, but I'm still trying to grab the understanding of why this is photobiomodulation. Um, because when I listened to the interviews that you sent to me for the information background, um, it's when you and I spoke, uh, Dr. Stacy and Dr. Mel, my understanding was that the patches are a combination of micronutrients, salts, amino acids, et cetera, and that they act as essentially reflectors of photonic emission that's coming from the body. They're not themselves a source of light. And historically, photobiomodulation is reserved for outside sources, low level laser therapy, et cetera. So am I understanding correctly, these are not actually light sources, they're simply reflecting photomodulation, bio emissions, essentially photonic emission from the body, reflecting it back to the body. Is that, is my understanding accurate? 
Who wants to answer that one? You, Dr. Vienna. Because I have a good example too. Yeah, go okay. for it. So there was a really good example that was brought up and that is, you know, how we can actually, when we go out into the sunlight and the sun then helps to upregulate our own vitamin D. That's how these patches work is once you apply it to the skin, then the temperature of your body then um, interacts with the with the pads themselves, which then creates this wonderful light energy based on the crystals that are inside, as well as some of the amino acids and minerals, depending on which patch it is. And it helps to upregulate your own uh, nutrients within the body to help the body heal. And typically when I see somebody who's not making progress or is not having a really good response, oftentimes it could be a reverse of polarity that's going on within the body, or it could be that the meridians are not open. And so um, to get those the, the energy to flow through, and that's really what we're looking for is the path of least resistance, which the meridian system is the path of least resistance. So when these patches get onto an acupuncture point, that is a really strong one. And what I really like about the points that they're using is they're using ones that are called master points that are like the strongest points in the whole body. And usually it's because that's where the meridians cross, why they have so much energy. And so when that patch is applied to that, then that energy is then pulled from the patch and then is releasing this wonderful energy similar to like the light therapy that is coming from the sun as well as the red and the and the blue light. We all have those frequencies within our body. It's just not always being emitted. And so this is helping to emit that as it's making that contact with the skin. Does that make sense? I followed your explanation. I don't, I don't know that it makes sense to me that applying amino acids to the skin would cause the body to emit light differently than it is emitting light. That so I, don't. I, would, I would also like to yeah, add my yeah. input if that's okay. Yes. Um, Please. So, so Chad, this is the patch. And when we say photobiomodulation, it's basically phototherapy. So in the patch, in this white part, it's just um, the, the reason it's white, it's just embedded amino acid, organic amino acid, salt and sugar that forms a crystal formation. Now we know like according, like even Dr. Emoto, you can see it with water. Every water has a different structure. Everything in nature has a specific structure. So when you combine different food items or the mixture that you do, it produces a different structure. So when you put this patch on, every patch has a different type of a structure in it. It's not that you are putting an outside source of light in you, we are the sun and yes. we can see it. We can see people's biofield in their bioresonance scan. I know you're very knowledgeable in that field too, chat, but we can see people emitting light at all times. So imagine using, using exact acupressure points because this patch has a crystal structure, just a crystal lattice. It's nothing going in the body. It's a non-transdermal patch. When you put it on, your body's light hits it and then it signals back, you know, it's just like a mirror. Your body's light hits it and it reflects back that signal to go back into your body. Now, the purpose of the stem cell one is to activate the GHKCU copper peptide. The purpose of the X49, it, which is a daughter line of that um, GHKCU is actually AHKCU. So that one goes and does different things like, you know, increasing stamina performance, helping to block EMF and 5G. And these are all seen with clinical mm -hmm. studies, actual data that we can see people not getting 5G. So it's not like we are putting actual red laser or blue laser, whatever in the body. It's just a communication, as you said, a biophotonic communication, just because this patch contains a certain crystal lattice structure in it and then it's able to basically hold on to our light when it hits it reflect back that signal to us does that kind of make sense to help answer your question well it definitely answers the question that it doesn't have any photonic emission of its own yes exactly so, yeah yeah so we talk about biophotonic it's it's that's coming from the self not from the device exactly Correct. got it but also think about it like um when you have a crystal and you have it sitting in the windowsill and you see that reflection coming from the sun onto that crystal. It emits this wonderful uh, different colors coming through like the red, the blue and all that. So think about that crystalline um, uh, um, mixture that's inside the, the, the patch that is then uh, emitting into the, the body from our own, own source. So it's like we are the sun 
you know, projecting onto that and then it's being received as well and, and, and pushing it out so that it's activating us. It's making us much more efficient and they're using the Meridian system to do that. Great, thank you for taking the time. That was to a good my... question. Yeah, that was a great question. Thank you, Chad. Joanne, do you want to unmute yourself and ask your question, and then we'll get to the ones that are in the chat. Yes, um, I recently had a friend that has a very serious head injury that has been unresponsive. Um, he's out in Albuquerque in intensive care in the brain mm -hmm. ward. Um, so my mm -hmm thought was to send him the X39 and the Aon. And if so, um, I do cranial sacral therapy and specialize in traumatic brain injuries, but I've not, nice. I'm not that familiar with the patches to be able to say blah, 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 blah. So can you help me with that? Absolutely. There's some really good brain balancing uh, protocols that you can use as well that will actually help with the, um, the hemispheres and, and balancing the two separate hemispheres. What side of um, a brain injury does he have, left or right, I, or is it? I'm not sure yet. Complete. Yeah, he okay. got pneumonia. Is he his speech? Antibiotics and he's on a ventilator, so he's been unresponsive for days. But, okay, so we did, uh, um, okay. The swelling has gone down. The brain bleed has stopped, and they're looking mm -hmm. at probably he's going to need extensive therapy to come back from this to be able to talk to do. Okay. So I'm imagining it's on his left side. Yeah, if it's affecting his speech. Yeah. Uh, typically, if it's affecting his speech, it would be his left side for sure. No, no, no. You said it's a left involvement? I don't know. It's probably right involvement if it's affecting speech. So, because uh, as far as right sidedness, it'd be the left hemisphere, but okay. Right, left hemisphere, correct. Yeah. So I would definitely uh, recommend the X39. And the Eon, um, I also feel like the uh, glutathione would be really good, as well as the, um, uh, what's the other one I'm thinking Carnitine. of? Sorry. Carnitine. Carnitine, yes, thank you. Carnitine for brain, yes, brain, big one, uh, because that one has been very helpful with dementia as well, but also just with brain health in general. Also think about the governing vessel a lot for that one because the governing vessel is what is the governor of the body. So that's right. a good one to use for any brain issues. That's the one that uh, goes down around the, the spine yeah. and up around the head. Okay. So that would Fabulous. be the X39A on the carnosine and the glutathione? Yes, yes. And the glutathione, I really like because of the fact that it does help to build the immune system, which is so apparent right now, because everything, Thing else that he is fighting with right now is uh, going to um, take away some of that immune abilities it and really has, affect it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Wonderful. I definitely recommend that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. All right. So tear also, if you could do any stroking on the skin, would be good too to to get the sensation going. Yes, I've had I've got them doing that. I'm going to be flying out to Albuquerque uh, as soon as they okay. get him off the ventilator to work with him. Okay. Good, good. Okay, so thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Dr. Vienna. Terry asked if it would help with weight loss. She's experiencing leaky gut and low thyroid. So Terry- well, can, I add, can I add something to that? While I was listening, I realized I also have Epstein-Barr. That's kind of, I think, what triggers some Ooh. of this other stuff. And I've had several mm -hmm. whopper of concussions by being rear-ended, so. Interesting. Have you ever had a SCIO biofeedback done? Because- Oftentimes when somebody's had EBV or also a cranial, uh, like a cervical nerve issue, oftentimes that's related to a cranial nerve. And um, my feeling is that some of your symptoms may be related to that, but yes, this would definitely help. Um, and what was the now, name of that Dr. feedback? SCIO, S-C-I-O. Thank you. Yes. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's great at identifying digestive issues. Uh, Epstein-Barr, especially what stage you're in, phase one, two, three, or four, as well as uh, any allergies or sensitivities that may be Im impacting that and making it worse. Um, but also when it comes to the spinal segments, it could be related to um, cervical nerve issues. I, whenever there's a concussion, I always have to ask what's going on. So um, now, jo was it Joanne? Did you say you do cranial sacral? Cranial sacral is another thing you could look at for the um, 
any kind of uh, concussions that you may have had, because that can actually help to release some of those cranial nerves as well. So, um, but yes, I would suggest the, um, mm, the X30, X40, X39, the Eon, Eon is always my go-to. I mean, it's, that's a big one, especially if you place that one underneath the, the belly button for the digestive piece. Um, and I know Dr. Mel, you do a lot with digestive as well. So digestive disorders, um, what would you suggest for that as well? Yeah, um, I use Aeon, SP6, and Glutathione because I found that those three combinations, plus obviously the X39 helps eliminate basically any type of digestive issue that you can think of. Mm -hmm. Could you, my computer cut out, could you repeat those three things again that you said to use? Sure, um, Aeon for inflammation, uh -huh. X39 for stem cell activation, glutathione for detoxing the liver and SP6 for balancing the endocrine system, the blood sugar level and appetite and things like that. But the combination of all those four together, I've noticed it basically takes care of most gut health issues. Thank you. Sure. In addition, um, I would actually recommend that you start either with the opening of the channels um, program, as well as the uh, detox program. When someone such as you has so many medical issues or things that are uh, very comprehensive that can actually uh, promote a greater recovery and start if you were to do the detox program first it's like a five-day program and then um, or open up the meridians and and there's a wonderful protocol that you can use that will open up the meridians um, that will allow this to work much more efficiently and you'll get a much better uh, progression. When I have really medically complex people with lots of different types of conditions, especially autoimmune issues, I like to start them on that first because then they actually start feeling really great uh, quickly. So, and if you don't have that protocol, we can share it. Thank you. Totally. And yeah. to address Terry, your you're asking about weight loss. We're gonna go live in here yes. on Friday. Mel and I are, and we're gonna share a uh, super top secret protocol uh, <laughs> that we have utilized for that with huge success. Awesome. Uh, for the last. Six that is awesome. Years. So we're gonna share that with you guys on Friday in here. It'll be about <laughs> midday. Um, so be looking for that. We'll talk about weight loss, but definitely um, thank you, Dr. Vienna for those responses for that too. Um, Lisa asked a question, uh, is there a patch Dr. Vienna that might be best uh, to help people that have had shingles? Yes, actually there is. Um, there's a lot of really good ones. Um, that one would be the, um, Aloe vita, um, the um, carnosine, the Eon, the X30, X39, and um, did I say glutathione already? <laughs> Those are my preferences for that for in particular. Perfect, thank you. What about um, and if you need to surround it for pain issues, like um, oftentimes you'll have pain with those, then the ice wave would be really good for those as well either surround it or um, place it on the actual location um, or using a particular uh, meridian uh, uh, channel that would help with that too. Perfect. And what about Crohn's, Dr. Vienna? Crohn's, that's an autoimmune and digestive. So uh, pretty much what Dr. Mel had, had mentioned earlier, as far as her protocol for the gut, that would be a really good one as well. You know, it's interesting too. That is how Dr. Mel and I got connected. Dr. Mel, would you share that real quick? Yeah, absolutely. So my grandfather has Crohn's and we are all, I come from a whole line of holistic health practitioners. So we know everything in the book, nice. <laughs> for yeah. any type of issues. And this one, we just couldn't help him. Like we had tried everything. And um, so we really wanted to help his flare up to stop. I mean, we would see some progress, but it just wouldn't go away completely. And when Stacy mm -hmm. introduced the stem cell patches to me, actually right when it came was when my dad got COVID. So I gave all my samples to him and he recovered in three days. But um, I said, yeah, we need to start on this for um, my aunt said, yeah, we have to do this for, uh, you know, grandpa and we used it and he doesn't have any more flare ups. And that's huge because with Crohn's, you get a lot of bleeding and it's, it was bad for two months. So we we're really grateful for the patches to help him reverse the condition that he's had. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
All yeah. right, so she, uh, Lisa wants to know, can you recommend what patches might help someone with depression, anxiety, and addictions and how it may affect different parts of the brain? Hmm. Okay, um, Nirvana. <laughs> Nirvana is a good one for the mood disorders mm -hmm. and also the brain balancing. So the energy enhancer, the X39, um, like I said, the Nirvana, the Eon, um, and Carnazine. Those are wonderful. Is there anyone else that, I mean, is there anything I might've left out on that one? The only other thing that um, I have used with people besides those is the SP6. And okay. um, what definitely, obviously the brain balancing is huge. We actually have uh, in the book, Lisa, the protocol for addictions. And so SP6 mm -hmm. is used on a specific acupuncture point. It's an addition. Uh, uh, it is for addiction, sorry, a special point that's on the wrist. And so using the, like uh, Dr. Vienna mentioned, the carnosine, the glutathione, the energy enhancer, Eon and X39, you can use a specific spot on the left wrist for SP6 as well too. So we can share that with you. Uh, and depending on if it's uh, alcohol or if it's, if they have withdrawal symptoms or things like that, we actually have uh, protocols for that too. So, yeah. Thanks. Progressive MS. Do you need to be concerned with glutathione since an overactive immune system is in play? Patching recommendations, please. Uh, for MS, I would actually recommend the energy uh, enhancer. Uh, that one is actually really, really good for MS. Mm -hmm. It's great for the neurological system. Um, I would also look at placing um, a lot on the um, the uh, X39 on the uh, governing vessel because of that. I don't feel that there would be an issue with the glutathione um, because I do feel like it is, uh, we are all uh, really um, that, uh, deficient in it anyway. Mm -hmm. And so I think it would actually help. Um, but to, uh, for the addiction piece, I wanna go back. The, the point that they're, I think they're going to select for the addiction is the pericardium six. That one's actually really good for all different types of um, conditions because it is something that is used for like even people who have um, 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 having issues with uh, morning sickness or motion sickness. It's really good for any motion type of illnesses and things like that. And so uh, pericardium six is a really good one for um, resolving those, but anything related to the blood, anything with really related to the heart as well. So. Um, but the energy um, enhancer is a really good one for MS because it does help to upregulate that, but also the Eon, the X39 and uh, the Gluto for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And looking at the protocol in the book, too, but, um, on, that yin yang balancing, that detox. Yes. Talking about definitely got to do the detox first. Yes. I was going to suggest that too. Mm -hmm. Detox is important for that because it does involve so, so many multiple systems with MS. Yeah. And, and definitely what you said, all those patches too, we have that protocol. Um, we have the exact locations um, to apply them as well too for MS, but we have lots of, of great success with people with MS. We have a telegram channel. If you guys don't know this, uh, where we have 3000 recorded testimonials of people that mm -hmm. are experiencing all of the things you guys are talking about. Right. But yeah, yeah. what they've used and, and how it's helped them. So we can definitely share recordings with you as well, too. And I'm seeing a lot of questions coming up about different locations of points. And so when we're talking about pericardium six or spleen six or spleen six is a patch, but it's also there's a point for uh, an acupuncture point. It's actually a master point that is really good. And that is really actually used a lot for uh, hormonal issues, female issues, uh, anything related to pain as well. Um, because it does relate to blood disorders and blood uh, purities. So if you have inflammation in the blood, spleen six helps with that. It also helps with the um, weight loss and things like that. So um, what I mentioned earlier is that we are going to provide a really good guide for people to help you um, find where the points are located. If they're not located in the book, I mean, you can look at the pictures and you go, I think this is the spot, but this is actually going to tell you how to find it on your own body. Okay.
That's cool. I love that. That's amazing. Thank you. I do have yes. um, a question that came before it via a private chat. So can you explain, um, some people are thinking like about the meridian points, how can you open the channels up? Like if a patch, let's say it doesn't work, is it related to the polarity or to the meridian point? Can you dive in a little bit deeper in that, please? Yeah, so, you know, um, hmm. How do I say this? When it comes to the meridians being um, sluggish or, or closed in some ways, oftentimes that's related to uh, maybe somebody's had some surgeries where um, a meridian has or a uh, organ has been taken, like a gallbladder is one of the most common ones. Gallbladder, you know, has been removed. And so the gallbladder meridian can be blocked because there's no organ to correspond with it. However, the bladder meridian is its sister so they kind of work uh, back and forth but when somebody gets sick or they have lots of toxins like heavy metals or mold or even just inflammation or a lot of uh, chronic illness types of things it can actually slow down the meridian system and make it very sluggish and if you do a lot of energy work you'll know if your if your uh, meridians are, are are closed or sluggish or or whatever you'll start to see it in, in many different types of symptoms or, or conditions. When I see somebody who is medically complex, I often will just assume if I don't, if I can't feel that their meridians are closed, I, I, especially if they're remote, I'll assume that their meridians are very sluggish. So I want to open them. When it comes to polarity differences, it's when you're trying to get a result and it works for everyone else. Kind of like with Dr. Mel and I's experience with her dad and myself, all of my protocols that I was working on myself that I always worked for everybody else wasn't working for me. So that told me that I needed to uh, change the polarity of my own system. We have, you know, a, um, a, a north and a south polarity and how things are flowing back and forth. And oftentimes they get um, reversed to where what you think is going to work isn't and they get a, a negative response from it. And so you just need to reverse that polarity with using the patches, the patches will help you do that. We'll share that protocol with you. That's part of the thing that I'm putting together for you all. And so that'll help you. And when you see the differences, it's amazing how it works. You'll see it overnight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so somebody asked if their partner struggles, struggles with manic depression, will Nirvana make that person more manic? No. No, the whole idea is that the whole, uh, with using Nirvana, it is to stabilize the system and return it back to homeostasis. We are not born to be manic. Mm -hmm. And so basically when it, when it looks at, uh, when we're talking about uh, bi bipolar or manic depression, um, it is a, um, a chemical imbalance in the body, in the brain. And so that's what these patches are, are designed to do is to return us back to homeostasis, back to the way we were supposed to. And so it reverses that chemical imbalance that's going on and helps to stabilize it. So no, they will, it will not make them go more. They might have more energy, but they won't be more manic. Perfect. Good looking picture. What about somebody that is recovering from breast cancer? Which patches promote good healing? Hmm. Well, now that one, okay. Uh, that one depends depends on what kind of treatment did they have. If they went through chemo or radiation, we want to get some of those toxicities out. So I would say detox first. So the detoxification program, and then also, uh, which is going to be involving uh, quite a few of the patches like the gluto, the carnosine, the Eon, the X39. Um, you might even have some, some of the silent nights at night. Um, as well as the energy enhancer. <clears throat> and the whole idea is that we are trying to not only detoxify the system, but also vitalize it and bring energy into it. And that's what the energy enhancers are for. Um, and then also to nourish the body. So there's three steps to it, detox, nourish, and then uh, recovery and feed it. So um, that's the whole point. So depending if there was the, the um, <clears throat> chemo and the radiation, we'd wanna definitely do detox first. Perfect. Do you guys agree? Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes, definitely. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else said I've got right-sided weakness post my boxing accident as I had spent six weeks in a coma and two brain surgeries. Which patches would you recommend? Ooh, wow. 
Well, congratulations, first of all, for your recovery. That is amazing based on how much you've been through. Um, I would definitely say the energy enhancer, the um, glutathione, the Eon, the X39 and X49. I would actually do the X39 and X49 together. Um, and um, the Silent Nights as well. Um, and then, uh, and I would use the uh, governing vessel quite a bit for that, which is the, along the, the spine. And um, if you can actually do one of the patches down at the bottom where the lumbar spine is, and then up at the top where the cervical spine is, that would be ideal. Um, and those would actually help quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I yeah. would do the carnosine as well, because there's gonna be a little brain issue in there. And we need to do some brain balancing in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. What about for diabetic neuropathy? I was just asked this question this morning too. So. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of places to find resources on that, but go ahead, Dr. Vanna. <laughs> yeah, I like um, the diabetes. Well, first of all, um, diabetes, is it under control? That would be the first one. Mm -hmm. um, but also you're dealing with pain and nerve issues. So I would actually recommend, um, again, using the uh, Eon, the X39. Um, let's see. For nerve pain, I would also use the, uh, hmm, why my, my brain is going. Carnosine and ice wave. Carnosine. And Carnosine. Ice wave. Well, ice wave, especially for the pain, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And then I would use the pathway. Oh, a really good one for uh, neuropathy pain would be bladder 60, which is the um, one right behind the ankle bone on the outside of the leg. And I would also use kidney three, which is the point uh, uh, along the Achilles tendon, right behind the ankle bone on the inside of the leg. And then um, I would also use uh, gallbladder, gallbladder 34, which is um, just below the knee onto the side. Of, I mean, it's really hard for me to describe this to you, but uh, it would be three finger, uh, three, three finger widths below the patella and then two finger widths to the right of that if you're on the right leg um, off the medial off the lateral side and that will be gallbladder 34 really good one for peripheral or for the uh, diabetic neuropathy especially for the pain and nerve issues related to that thank you so much i did have a question in the private chat someone is falling asleep twice during the day by using the x39 what are your thoughts on that Dr. Vienna. Switch the patch. Where are they uh, placing it? If they're placing it on the back of the neck, stick it under the under the um, under the navel. Um, otherwise, I would suggest that they use the energy enhancer in, uh, along with it. And uh, maybe instead try the X49 if they don't like the if the X39. This sounds like it's more of a, one of those reverse polarity types of things. So um, I would actually uh, try to put the X39 on, underneath the navel instead of on the back. Yeah, I did have that experience the first time um, I got the energy enhancer. I got so tired, like I was exhausted and I had to just switch it, put it in a different location. And I got that surge of energy and within like three minutes, it was amazing how yep. polarities are so important. Yes, it is, it is. And, you know, it's been a, it's a, been a conundrum for me sometimes with my clients, with the practice that I have, when I have these wonderful protocols that work. And then for these one people, these, these two, one or two people is like, what? And then, you know, I stay up at night trying to figure out why. So this has been helping a lot. Okay. And somebody asked, how do you do the detox? So just so you guys know, um, get back with a person that invited you here. We have this book. It was created by an acupuncture physician in our organization. And so we have access to this. For those of you that are practitioners on our team in our organization, we can help you get this book, of course, uh, because you are educated in the body, right? So this is not something that an average person, not that you're average, um, if you're not a practitioner, but not something that an average a layman, person, a layman person yeah. um, would, we would want you to, to have, right? Because we don't want to go around saying we're diagnosing people or, or treating people or, or anything like that, right? But in our practices, we use protocols for many different things. So in this book, whoever invited you, there are several different detox protocols and they look like this. 
It may look confusing, but it's really super easy. You use three patches during the day on those spots, three patches at night on those spots. And there are yin yang balancing, and then there's actually yin yang with the brain balancing. You heard Dr. Vienna talk about brain balancing. And so this one actually has four patches that you would utilize during the day and then three at night. And it recommends that you do this for five days uh, and then possibly even repeat for another five or 10 day cycle, depending on what's going on with you. But each protocol, not every protocol recommends that you have some type of serious detox first, okay? But when I look through the different protocols, some of them that are more in depth, such as um, cancer. Parkinson's, cancer. Um, yeah, when you look at things like that, they definitely recommend a detox first to help eliminate your body using these different acupuncture meridians, okay? So we can share the detox with you, of course, and which patches are needed. We take pictures of them all the time and send them to people. So just so you know, we have that information in here to share. Okay. Yeah, and uh, based on the, the placement of the points, I'll also be having that uh, little guide that you can use that'll help you identify where those points are because many of the points that are used in these are not reflected on the booklets that you get with the patches. Yes. And so that'll help and it'll give you the reasons why. Yeah. Okay. Why yeah, you want to I know, use it. I know myself, Dr. Vienna, there's been many times when I've sat down and I've Googled the spot <laughs> and just to find yes. it and make notes in the book because sometimes they have yes. exactly where it goes and sometimes they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's amazing. There's some amazing points that, and I, and I think one of the reasons why I was so impressed with LifeWave was when I saw the points that they were using it's a lot of the ones that I actually use in my uh, practice every day. And uh, I see results, I mean, instantly with what I'm doing with people. So knowing that they're using these, these points, I was just like, oh, this was a match made in heaven, or I should say a patch made in heaven. Maybe that's the best way to say it. That is so sweet. I love it. I'm going to make t-shirts for all of us that says that. Yes. It's a patch made in heaven. Yes. You can put, cross the M out and put a P. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Perfect. That is so great. All right. We have a few more minutes. Does anybody else have any other questions you would like to ask Dr. Vienna? I just checked the Facebook feed. And so they had reverted their questions into here too. So is any, anybody else have any other questions? I have one. Um, Thanks, Terry. I have a I have a male friend who says his PC muscle is worn out. I've never heard of such a thing. I'm not sure what that even means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dr. Vienna. <clears throat> so, meaning that he's probably having some incontinence, is my guess. Okay, which maybe is why okay. he didn't give me any more detail. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, I've, I've actually seen quite a bit of results with, uh, there's um, some really good protocols, like I mentioned, but um, I've seen some really good results with using the uh, X30, well, actually the X49 and this one, because that does help with muscle recovery. But also, you know, I don't know if most men know that they can actually do Kegel exercises to actually strengthen that, that pelvic floor. And because men do have pelvic floors as well, I actually specialized in uh, incontinence or, or continence recovery. And so um, with, you know, good results. So men doing the Kegels is actually really good. It ha actually helps to strengthen that, that pelvic floor. Um, but having him use the X49, because that is uh, really working with a lot of muscle recovery and strengthening and rebuilding, as well as the, um, the Eon. I, I, I mean, Eon is like, I'm, I'm telling you it's like my favorite and uh the gluto the carnosine and then also uh energy enhancer would be good for him on those on those particular points i would also recommend um certain uh acupuncture points for those as well uh, but i'll have that reflected in the cheat sheet that i'm going to provide you because if i were trying to describe where it is it's really based on his body type or where you know where his body is so um, i can actually give you some suggestions for that but I would actually have them start with those. Also, uh, aerobic activity, like a lot of bouncing and stuff, actually makes it so that it's very difficult to keep that pelvic floor strong. A lot of aerobic instructors actually have incontinence because of that sling up and down. Okay. 
Thank you. So I usually recommend people do Kegels while they're at a stoplight. Oh. <laughs> Nobody knows you're doing it. it kind of makes you feel naughty. <laughs> <It's hard to remember. laughs> I know, sorry. I just said that in public in my outside that voice. That's so great. You're oh my God, that's <laughs> awesome. I'm going to do that tomorrow on my way to Tampa to do my event oh, at yeah. the whole spa tomorrow. I'm going to. Oh, absolutely. And it's so funny. You can look at how I'm doing my kegels and you don't even know. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, a couple more questions. Um, first off, somebody Facebook messaged and said that they're asking about kidney dialysis for his sister. I will share with you real quick before you answer, Dr. Vienna. I did interview a man um, a couple months ago, and he had been on dialysis for 41 years. Uh, he had been put on dialysis when he was 16, so no urination at all for 41 years. And six weeks using the X39 he was urinating on his own. But I would nice. love to hear because you have the different meridians and the points. So if you could share Dr. Vienna. Yeah, so first of all, kidney meridian is is one of the uh, the best points to use. That would be the bottom of the foot, kidney one, is right where the uh, uh, ball of the foot is, right in the middle. And then kidney three, which is right behind the ankle in the inside of the, of the foot. Those would be really good points to um, apply the patch for that in particular um, to help uh, the body release the, to keep the, the kidney flowing very nicely. Um, I would also use the uh, Aloe Vita uh, as well as the um, Energy Enhancer in the Eon and also the Glutathione for that reason um, because it will help with all those kinds of things. It does help with the organ regeneration as well as all of the, you know, um, disuse that has been created because he's had to rely on dialysis for so long that it, the body kind of adapts this little reliance on the, di on the dialysis itself. So that would help a lot. Perfect. Also, another reason why people don't make a lot of progress is because they're not drinking enough water. So please make sure people are drinking enough water. That is one of the biggest, biggest things. Yes, yes. Even yeah. with the kidney dialysis, they, they do still need to drink the water because otherwise it'll, it'll come from other sources as well. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. And then um, question about spinal cord injury, lumbar one. Okay. So how much of an involvement is it? Is it a complete uh, loss or? Lisa, you want to unmute? Is it impingement? Is it? Uh... Yes. Um, hi. Yes. Um, hi. I had a, um, yeah, L1 burst fracture. It was incomplete. Um, and since I've been using the patches, I feel like the whole body is just re the upper and lower talking. Um, I had really bad foot drop, lower leg. Okay. And okay. Um, I also had a tailbone injury that I wasn't aware of. I had a lodged tailbone and hip displacement from the trauma. So, mm -hmm. um, just was, I'm feeling amazing with the patches. I'm ready to walk, but I, but I yeah. need more. So I just wanted some input, please. Thank you. Yeah, I would say the X49, um, put it on um, that, uh, the point on, on um, the, uh, it's depicted on the, uh, it's um, go, uh, governing vessel. Mm. I'd have to look at, look at it because I know it's a particular governing vessel, but um, I would put it on that one because that's gonna help with your lumbar one uh, lesion. So um, do you know where your lumbar one is located? I would yes. put it right on it. Put it okay. right on it. X and that's 49. the X49, yeah. you said? 49? Yes, yes. That, I just ordered yes. some 49. Yes. Okay. Yes. So put the X49 there and then the X39 up on the upper, up on the neck area. Is that the point? It wouldn't be stomach 36. Nope, not stomach 36. Nope. Uh -uh. Okay. No. So what, I'm sorry. Stomach what? 36 is actually really good. So when you said governing vessel, you meant just put it on L where 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 it was broken, the X forty nine. Yes, um, but I would also um, I want to say governing vessel two. Okay. And that's the point that's I'm gonna it's right above the butt crack. Oh, okay. <laughs> you say that one. That's how I, I have most people find it is because, you know, they're trying to put it on their back and then, you know, if they can just find that one spot and then put it right above that, well, that would be a really good point because, huh? 
No, I was just saying I've been there. putting the um, inflammation patch there, the Aon, okay. and I've been putting the uh -huh. X39 on the neck, and I I've noticed a big change. But so now I'll put okay. the 49 so on the butt put the, Yeah, put the X39 up here. Put the X49 on the governing vessel too, and then I would put the uh, Eon underneath your belly button. Okay, and then I also ordered some detox. The the um the I don't know how to say that glue with ion. Mm -hmm. And um, I ordered the SP6 and the um, bio will show that my spleen points and my heart, these all were low energy. Um, mm -hmm. So I was using the energy enhancers also, and I was noticing my feet were starting to move. So it's really nice powerful after 10 years. So yes, that is awesome. Um, also put the carnosine uh, patch right between the breastbone. And when I try to describe that one, I say where the <laughs> where the nipples are supposed to be. Okay. And then where would I put the, the gluathione on the, that one? I like it right here. Right on the neck. That's my glutathione. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then the yeah, SP6 my I got also, would I put that on the ankle? I would put that on, on SP6 point. Which that one, if you were to, uh, it, that one should be on the left side. So put that one on the left. Uh, if you were to cross your leg on top of your, put your knee on uh, your ankle on top of your knee and take your four fingers and put it right on top of the ankle bone uh, on the very top of that ankle, right in the medial part of the leg and then make that measurement. And where the uh, index finger hits the leg, go in between the right in, uh, up the middle of the, of the leg and when you press on it, it's going to be painful. That's spleen six. Okay, spleen six. Thank you so fabulous. much. It's I fabulous. That. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so excited. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank That's awesome. You. I'm ready to walk again. Let's do this. Yeah, we need to have you as a testimonial. <laughs> I'm made, it's happening. <laughs> By Good. October, right? We're running by October, Stacey, right? That's you know, right. While you're at it, because I thought about this myself, why don't you do a video of your gait pattern as it is now? Mm -hmm. And then do it after you've been doing some patching for some time. And just show the before and after, because I think you'll you'll find uh, a difference in your uh, in, in what you see as well. Also, check out uh, pelvis. For some reason, pelvis feels off a little bit, like it might be rotated a little bit for you. It, it is rotated. So, okay. Part of the trauma, voting trauma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, definitely need to do either some cranial or, or some myofascial release to try to release that if that's possible. If you can find somebody who can do that to, to help okay. uh, stabilize your pelvis because it, it definitely feels off to me. Perfect. Th thank you. I agree. It's, yeah. I agree. You're 100% right. All thank right. you. Okay. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Well, thank you all for being on here this evening. Thank you, Dr. Vienna. We are so grateful for you. Your time, your knowledge, your information you shared with us is absolutely invaluable. So if you are watching this recording, if you have questions and you, or if something didn't get answered by chance, if we happen to miss something, please put it in the comment section. We will be monitoring that. And we'll make sure you get your questions answered or please reach out to us. We're all happy to help. Um, so whatever is going on with you, we are here to help you guys do that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Dr. Vienna, for your time tonight, um, sharing with all of us. And so we're so grateful for you know that we will be doing this every single Wednesday at 7 PM. And so we'll be coming in and doing question and answer. Obviously this page is open to other people as well. So if you have people that you would like to invite to this page that would like to learn about this technology um, or invite them to the Zoom at this time, uh, please feel free to share this information with you, with them. So thank you all and so Dr. much. Dr. Stacy, yes. if you don't mind, um, also can we suggest that if there's some people in here that or, or ones that you wanna speak to that have an idea or, so, or would like to have some more information about certain conditions mm -hmm. or um, you know, uh, problems that they've been dealing with, or even if they're working with some people that are not making progress, if they could even give some information, keeping HIPAA in mind, of course, that we can actually then provide that information and support for you, we'd be happy to do that. Because yeah. you know we have a smart panel and everybody that's on this call, 
and we talk about everybody on this call, not just us. So yes, everybody's smart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Wonderful. Well, thank you all. Have a fabulous evening. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar. I'm, I'm personally staying on because I have a Zoom in two minutes on my own Zoom. So. <laughs> all right. But well, thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you, Dr. Nice thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. So this is training, right? We're, we can stay. Yes. Are we recording? We are not, we are going to stop.